Hi there. Now in this question, we're given this sequence with terms u1, u2, u3, and so on. And it's defined by u1, the first term being 7, and then this recurrence relationship, or term-by-term -term relationship, un plus 1 equals un plus 4, for n greater than or equal to 1. And what we've got to do in the first part is show that the 17th term, u17, is equal to 71. And then in the second part, we've got to show that sigma, n equaling 1 to 35 of un, is equal to sigma, n equals 36 to 50 of un. OK, well, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, as usual, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video, and then when you come back, you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. What we'll do is we'll take the first part then, and to get to the 17th term, that seems quite a way down the line here. So I don't think I can get the 17th term straight away without noticing something. So I'm just going to work out what the second term would be, u2. And according to this re relationship here, if we let n equal 1, we get u2 equals u1 plus 4. So u2, the second term, is equal to u1, the first term, plus 4. Well, we know the first term, u1, we're told it was 7. So we've got 7 plus 4, and so that's clearly going to be 11. If I work out the third term, u3, OK, that's when n equals 2 here. u3 will equal u2 plus 4. So it equals the second term plus 4 more. Second term was 11. 11 plus 4 is 15. And so what I can see now is that for this sequence, let's just put it down for the sequence, if we start with the first term, it was 7, OK, u1. Second term was 11, it went up by 4. And the third term, it went up by 4 again to give us 15. It's always going up in steps of 4. So what I can see then is that this type of sequence is what we call an arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression. I'm just going to put AP there for short. Now when we have an arithmetic progression, or arithmetic sequence, we should be familiar with the fact that the nth term is given by this formula here. un is equal to a, a being the first term, plus n minus 1, the number of terms, minus 1, times d, the common difference. So our first term, a, is 7. The number of terms that we're looking at is going to be 17. OK, n being 17, we want that 17th term. And d, the common difference, is going to be 4. OK, the difference between each of our terms. So that allows me to work out what u17 is through this formula. So u17 is going to be a, which is 7, plus n minus 1, so that's 17 minus 1, times the common difference, which is 4. So what we've got here is 16 times 4, which is 64, plus another 7. Well, that's going to be 71. OK? And that's what we had to show. OK, well, we move on now to the next part. OK, so we'll just border that off. Now, in the next part, then, we've got to show that sigma, the sum of, all the terms going from n equals 1 to 35 is equal to the sum of all the terms going from 36 to 50. So, again, if you'd like to have a go at this now, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, we're dealing with an arithmetic progression here or arithmetic sequence. And when it comes to working out the sum of the set of n terms, the first n terms, we should be familiar with these two 
versions of summing the first n terms. I'm going to use this one here, Sn equals n over 2, all times twice the first term, plus n minus 1 times the common difference d. You could use this version, that is the sum of the first n terms, equals n over 2, all multiplied by the first term a, plus the last term l. So, in part 2 then, let's just work out, first of all, what the sum of the first 35 terms are going to be. So we've got sigma n going from 1 to 35 of those un terms. In other words, this is saying add up u1 plus u2 plus all the way up to un, n being 35, u35. So What's the first term, u1? Well, we know it's 7. What's the second term? We know it's 11. Plus, all the way up to this last term. OK, put a plus there as well. Plus u35. Now, if I use this formula here, n will be the number of terms, which is going to be clearly 35 terms. So we're going to have 35 divided by 2, and this is all multiplied by twice the first term, so we've got 2 times 7, and then we've got plus n minus 1, so that's going to be 35 minus 1, multiplied by the common difference, which we know is 4. Okay, And if you work this out, you find you get 2,625. Now all we've got to do is check now that this summation comes to 2625. So we'll tackle that one here now. So we'll look at the sum of all the terms un, starting with n equaling 36 and working our way up to n equaling 50. So in other words, we've got u36 plus u37 plus all the way up to that last term, which is going to be u50. Now we need to establish what the first term in this series is, u36. And we can go back to this formula for the nth term here. So for u36, it's going to be the first term, which is going to be the first term in our complete sequence, which we saw was 7. So you've got 7 plus, and then you've got n minus 1, so it's going to be 36 minus 1, okay, multiplied by the common difference, which was 4. So this is our first term. I'll put that in square brackets there. And then to this, we're going to add u37, and that's going to go all the way up to the last term, u50. So what we've got here is this is 7 plus 35 times 4, which comes to 147. So that's our first term in this particular series. And then you've got the next term, u37, OK, plus and so on, all the way up to u50. So using this formula here, We've got to be very careful, though, what is n going to be? Well, it's the number of terms in this particular series. And it isn't a question of just taking the 36 away from the 50. I mean, for instance, if you had just these two terms and you took 36 away from 37, that would give you 1, and yet there will be two terms there. So you've always got to add 1 to the difference. So if you take the 36 away from the 50, that gives you 14. But if we add 1, there's going to be 15 terms. OK, so it's going to be 15 then over 2 for n over 2. This is all multiplied by twice the first term. And the first term now is 147. OK, and then it's plus n minus 1. So n was 15, so we've got 15 minus 1, multiplied by the common difference, which is 4. 
and if you work this out then you actually end up with 2625 again so therefore we can see that both these two summations are equal to one another okay